In this really short video today, we're going to look at how to show tone and texture within a piece of work using a pen. And one technique is cross hatching. Now, I use um, different ranges of pens from Biro to Uniball Fineliner to quite expensive um, fine liners that you can purchase from art shops that have different um, points or numbers at the end which indicate how um, large and thick your line might be that you're drawing with. One of the, my favourite tools to really use to work in, work with pen to show tone and texture is um, a biro. So that's what we're just going to use today to show you how to put a little bit of tone on a piece of work or a little bit of texture. Now, what I want you to do is look back in your book and check that you have got your outline in there, your little um, outline that hasn't got any tone on it at all. It's just been cut out and stuck in your book. Make sure that the outline that you've drawn fills the next page in your sketchbook. So your sketchbook is starting to look like this here. If your outline isn't nice and big and large like this one, just turn over your page and start again. Then anywhere on the page where you've put the little outline of the insect, it can be at the top like I've done here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be if it doesn't fit there. I want you to just write the title saying cross hatching. Check that you've written the meaning. So it's a technique to show tone using a pen. And it's really simple. It's just about crossing your lines. But so for example, you can have a go yourself here. Draw your table. This one's three by three, I think, approximately. I've just drawn that freehand. And to show my tone lightly here, all I've done is not pressed on hard with my pen. And I've gone diagonally, I've gone horizontally, and I've gone vertically. And the lines that I've left are nice and wide. There's gaps in between so that I've got a light tone. As I'm progressing across this ladder here, my lines are getting closer and closer together until you can hardly see any white paper in the last box. I want you to spend uh, about six minutes or so drawing up a tonal ladder to show your understanding of what cross hatching is and to show that you know how to show tone with your cross hatching, working from a light to a dark. And work with any pen that you might have handy can be a biro, you might have brought in some fine liners to use, you might have one of those nice little writing uniball pens, so try and use that. Now once you've done that, I want you to draw another little ladder on the same page where your insect is that you've cut out from your paper. And again, another little ladder here, five or six boxes. And I want you to experiment with your pen showing texture. Now texture is how something feels. So if you think about insects and you think, oh, the hairy and the furry, you can start to do a hairy, furry sort of technique with your pen. So that's one texture that you could experiment with. Once you've got those two little experiments done, you then just check back in to that outline that you've started. And again, if it isn't large, it's not filling the page like the one I've started to do here, then turn over and start again. Make sure once you've got your outline, you've drawn a little diagram of where your light source might be. I've just done a happy little sun there. So I know that this side of my insect, so this side here, is going to have light tone. And the other side here is going to have a lighter like a darker tone showing the shadow as I've started to do on here. Now, coming back to how would I show the lighter tone? Well, I check in on my ladder and go, right, so that light tone wants to be similar to here. But this is a flat surface and we're trying to make our surface look three dimensional which if you remember is the whole point of why we're using tone and texture on a piece of work to make it look 3D. So I want to make this bit here as light as possible. So and I also want to make that curved because I want to enhance the fact that I know that that part of that insect to make it look realistic is curved. And to draw our lines 
here using our cross hatching i'm going to make sure that i'm leaving gaps nice wide gaps in there so that i'm getting a lighter surface and if i wanted it to be darker like this area for instance here i would put in more lines again over the top of one another so it's creating a darker texture or a darker tone should we say and then maybe i'm thinking because i've explored my textures over here i want to show on the leg parts of my insect that it's textured it's got hairy parts so once i've put in all my tone with my cross hatching and again because i want to enhance the fact that i know this bit is here is curved i'm putting my tone down so that it's curved and putting the cross hatching lines down in a curved way rather than flat and i want to add a bit of texture here to show that that part of that insect is hairy i'm just going to add those textures on now the whole of that insect needs to have tone on that's not a finished one yet it's just a half outline but the whole of that will then be covered with different types of cross hatching and texture and this should probably this exercise take you approximately three hours even more if you're putting in a lot of effort with your cross hatching and your tone and your texture